Welcome back to Alaskan Ballistics. This is Chuck. We finally got Lone Wolf to send us back the 9-inch barrel, and it seems to be working. So there's our Lone Wolf 9-inch barrel. You can see the chamber's empty, magazine's out, it's clear. And so we decided what kind of velocities are we going to get. So this is just a velocity-only video. First thing I did was I grabbed this SIG ammo. This is SIG 180 grain full metal jacket, as you guys can tell here. And it's just plain SIG 180 grain full metal jacket. My buddy had some left over when he moved, so it gave them to me. And that's why they're in a bag. Those 180 grains typically go about 1220 out of my regular stock barrel. They're listed on the box at 1250. Here we have the 200 grain hard cast. You guys have seen this on the channel plenty of times before. And the 200 grain hard cast. We are going to test those out of here as well. Lipstick round, as we call it. The red high-tech coating from Underwood. That's actually the main stuff in my Bear Defense mag right there. And, of course, we've got the Extreme Penetrators. And here they are. You guys know what these look like. Little fluted Phillips head screwdriver type rounds. And they are going very fast. They're listed at 1,500 feet per second on the box. But they typically go faster out of the KKM barrel. So we'll see how much faster they go out of this barrel. And last but not least, I have the Buffalo Bore Dangerous Game. The Buffalo Bore Dangerous Game is a 190 grain bullet. It's all copper, mono metal, So it's not actually moving all that fast because it's longer than the average lead bullet. So here it is. You guys have seen it on the channel before. And we'll see how much velocity we gain. So we're going to shoot all of these over the chronograph. I'm shooting 15 rounds of SIG over the chronograph just to make sure the weapon feeds. And then we'll shoot five rounds of each of these over the chronograph. You guys tell me what you think is the 9-inch barrel worth it. We're going to do some comparisons with the 9-inch barrel later. So that's why we have it, but I just wanted to show you guys that it, I did get it back from Lone Wolf. It does work now, and we will see how it does over the chronograph. All right, 10 millimeter Lone Wolf barrel. Got 15 rounds of SIG, Lone Wolf 9 inch barrel. Seems like they fixed it. So let's see how it does over the chronograph. These typically get about 1220 out of the Glock factory barrel in my G40. Now that we got a nine inch barrel, let's see how fast that they get. They're rated on the box for 1250. Here we go. 1330. 13.64. 13.66. 13.62. 13.53. 13.46. 13.59. 13.22. 1350, 1310, 1330, 1340, 1342, and 1345. Pretty fast, almost 100 feet per second more in the box, about 120, 130 feet per second more than the factory Glock barrel. Let's see how the next group of ammo does. Now in this magazine, the first five are extreme penetrators, the next five are 190 grain buffalo bore dangerous game, and the next five are 200 grain underwood hard gas. Here we go. 1811, 1777, 1793, 1771, and 1741, now the 190 grain. 1276, 1243, 1256, 1222, 1240, 1387 for the last one there. 1385, so we're into the Underwood 200 grain now. 1359, 1377, and 1364. So with the hard cast, I only got a little bit more, about 50 feet per second more, than I did with the 6.5 inch KKM barrel. 
So it lets you know with the heavy bullets, you're probably not going to get as fast. With the lightweight bullets, you'll probably get a lot faster. So it just depends on the powder charge and the company and all that jazz. Look at her, the add up slide. We're not going to do a penetration test just to save ammo right now. Here is our add up slide with the Glock Model 40 9 inch Lone Wolf barrel. I'll let you pause and read all the numbers. Standard deviations aren't horrible for factory ammo in this barrel. I do expect a little bit better standard deviation from Underwood on the extreme penetrators. The energy, it got a lot more energy. I've never had a 10 millimeter almost get a thousand pounds of energy before now. That's within 16 foot pounds of energy of a thousand right there. I thought that was pretty interesting. You can look at the numbers. However, the numbers, even though they're interesting, when you look at the percentage of velocity gain over the six and a half inch KKM barrel, it becomes a little bit less interesting to me. This slide shows you the percentage increase and not any of them made a 5% increase. Now I actually haven't shot the SIG ammo out of the KKM barrel, so I don't know if that ammo is doing it or not, okay? But you can see there, only 5% increase at best. This week's shout out goes to Keenum Gillum, cool firearms and ammo reviews, tabletop reviews, shooting reviews, he has a lot of cool guns, including this P229 Legion single action only review he just came out with. Go check out his channel. The link is in the description. Thank you for watching Alaskan Ballistics. Please like, share, subscribe, ring the bell. YouTube is not sharing gun videos much right now, so you need to make sure that you do. All that being said, we're on Instagram, The Jump, MeWe, Subscribestar, and Patreon. If you can help us on Patreon, that's great. They actually is what allowed me to buy this barrel with my help from Patreon. And thank you very much. Like, share, subscribe. God bless. We will see you at the range. <laughs>